Resident You've Evil. You've never played Resident Evil before. Resident Evil. Never done it, dude. This is the first time. Widely confused with President Evil, a game about your president being evil. Yeah. On, it doesn't matter who it is, any president. No, it's my favorite game, really. Yeah. yeah. So. so I'm not great with horror stuff. So we're about to see, I guess, how this goes. I, I avoid them at all costs. That's okay. Really cool. No, so here's the thing. We could play as Chris Redfield. He's a simp. Or we could play as Jill. She's hot. We'll play as Jill. Yeah. Yeah. Chris is a, look at that. That's a complete simp boy face. Yeah. I want no higher percent. Like, His haircut's lame, and I'm not a fan. No, I'm not either. Chris kind of looks like an idiot in this game, actually. I don't really does, yeah. He, later on, he goes on to have huge watermelon arms. What? He's huge. He's, He's jacked. jacked. Yeah. He looks like a real, real big idiot here with a yeah. dumb vest. He's is... like a weird turtleneck vest. Who is my problem? Also with very young. But, yeah, so let's let's do let's do Jill. Wait, what was that? Jill, what are you doing? Jill, get out of there. I know. Jill, what are you doing? Jill's thinking about how they can eat good. Are you gonna shoot? No, dude, run. What is she doing? Run, Jill. Jill, oh. you're a bad friend. Jill, run. Oh. I don't wanna play as Jill anymore. She's a really bad friend. Chris, this way. <laughs> <laughs> Albert Wesker pretty much is Chad, the character, actually. <laughs> for being real honest here. All right, Jill. Taking point as usual. Real hero. It's a dining room. People eat here. <laughs> See if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Alright, alright, watch this way. He's gonna come. They can come through the screens. So, like, you know how the camera angle turns? Yeah, they can follow you through those. It's not like an invisible wall. Good it on. takes so many bullets! I know! Okay, okay. Oh, he all it took was a dick shot. No, he didn't die! Oh my no, gosh! No, 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 Ew! No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Die, dude! Achievement, you're welcome, dude. You got him. It's a good thing I'm the best. The corpse, are we in uh, Soviet not Russia? Kenny. We have found the corpse of your comrade, <laughs> Kenneth. It looks like he's holding something. I serve the Soviet Union. <laughs> he is holding manifesto. <laughs> Karl Marx bestowed upon Kenneth before death. <laughs> Thank you, Kenneth. Very cool. <laughs> Oh, okay. oh, all right. It's, it's literally just going to be a sex tape. <laughs> Dang it, Kenneth, you horny freak. Is Wesker a bad guy? He seems like a bad guy. He's like not helping at all. No, he's no. on your team. He's you just, sure? he's off doing something he right now. He seems like a guy that could be a villain. Jill. Yep, yep. All right, all right. Onward. So, on, uh, yeah, I would count Until Dawn, too. Yeah, that's kind of a It's like kind game. of a spooky game, yeah. So Great now, call with a sapphire, by the way. Would not have figured that out. We can actually pick up whatever that gem was. Well, I one. honestly think it might have been a plug. I'm not gonna say what it was, but it was well, a, a sapphire, like a you know. Hold on. Like a backdoor clogger. Okay. Wait. Like a, like a specifically, a, like a practice, like a like a loosener up. Sure. Okay. Oh, never mind. It's just a gem. Oh, it's a gem. Shoot. Yeah. No. It I definitely looked at has that, that shape, wrong. I looked so. at that wrong. No, I understand. <laughs> Sorry about Common that. Common misconception: gemstones and butt plugs. <laughs> uh, I didn't say butt. Wait. Hold on. No, I totally. I, I didn't say that. A bit of a legend. Too. Have you seen Sinister? No, I've never You should. Things. You should see Sinister. It's creepy, but it's, uh, it's not like, overly. Um, it's not ridiculous. You What's know? the name of the bag again? Like uh, Baba Ganoush, Baba. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's Bagul. Bagul, that's what it is. Baba Ganoush. That's the one. Yeah, Wait, isn't yeah. that like some kind of Russian meal? It sounds about like. Yeah, right, would you like it. a Baba Ganoush? <laughs> <laughs> Baba Ganoush is here, guys. Run. Did you ever read Edgar Allan Poe? Yeah, we read something weird about him in like a like a room, and there was like a like a trap, and then he fell and died or something like that. You know what I'm talking about? Are you talking about the one where he killed the guy and buried him under the floorboard? That sounds right, actually. Telltale yeah. Heart. That's the one. Yeah. yeah. That's nothing like what you described it as. <laughs> sure. But... Yeah. No. Fair tomato. Enough. Tomato. Why's your wife in this game? I was gonna say that sounds like you five minutes ago after all the pizza we just ate. <laughs> <laughs> what is your wife in this game? Gosh damn. Oh, you like that? <laughs> you like that? <laughs> you think that joke was funny? Because I sure did. I feel so stupid right now. Yeah, I know. You do too? No, I was just gonna say you <laughs> are, are dumb. So look at this. A stone statue with a hole where the mouse Go be. on. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad Barry's not here. I know, Barry. <laughs> nose should be eyes, nose, and mouth. Where the eyes should be. Gosh, this is a necrophiliac's dream, dude. This I is gross. It. 
Okay, say a dude in the locker room takes off his shirt and he has giant nipples. Yeah. You address it. You don't just sit there and not talk about the giant nipples. Did, or did you? Well, there is an extent where you're being a dick, but I don't think you would. Sure, but you would just address it like, dude, you have big nipples. And then you move on. That's it. Maybe you make a joke. And, and, and listen, well, you gauge a person as well at that point. So if you say, like, dude, those are big nipples. And he's like, that's really offensive. Then you stop. Or, and then you figure out, we can't be friends. I offended you, and now <laughs> we're not can't friends. Be friends. Or, you figure out, yeah, or, you figure out, all right, yeah, you're right, they are giant nipples, they're borderline pepperonis, and I think they're hilarious. Awesome. I'm gonna make fun of your nipples, and it'll be our thing, is your nipples. That's how you build a friendship. That's how you weed out how you make friends or not, is if you can make fun of someone, especially their nipples. You blew the dog whistle. Go on. Where's the dog? Oh, here it is, with the chain. Oh, careful. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no, I don't, no, no, well, how, no. How am I supposed to kill it? I, I don't have a knife. Oh, move, move, move. Get out of there. Shoot it. Shoot it hard. No. Oh, it's circling you. No, no. No, no. Well, how am I supposed to kill this thing? You got it. Oh, it's still. Oh, there's two of them. Oh my god. You're gonna hear from PETA, is what you're gonna hear, dude. I mean, yeah, I don't judge. No, I mean, you've molested me a few times, and I mean. It's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what the actual definition of that word is, if it's unwanted touch or just like touch. Huh. Yeah. Let's look it up now. Maybe you're molesting your wife every day. <laughs> Wait a second, yeah. <laughs> it's just kind of a weird word. It is. You know? It molest. just sounds gross. It does, doesn't it? I don't like it. There are certain words that are just disgusting because they're disgusting acts. Yeah, yeah. Assault or abuse. Well, okay. So, oh, so, maybe, so you, maybe that wasn't right. So you could like <laughs> you could beat up someone and it would be molesting, but like not. So if it's assault, yeah. So if you punched me in the face, did you technically molest me? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Wait a second. Let's test it out. No, 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 no. Hey. <laughs> you have been molested successfully. <laughs> you have successfully been molested. Congratulations. Have you ever been on a sports team? I can think of somebody right now. Their name. I'm not gonna say. Sure, sure, sure. Have you ever been on a sports team where like there's someone who always like is going for attention? Like, yes. They like get hurt all the time to get attention yep. and like they, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. That's, they're the worst. That's Richard. They're the worst, and they're someone that at the very least gives the team. This, this sounds bad, but it, it gives the team someone to like collectively hate, hate and make fun of. Which, it brings the team together, except for that one guy. That's about it, you know? Especially people who stink. That's the problem. You stink, you're out. That's it. That's the rules. What's in here? There's got to be something. Richard. He's not in here. There's no way. <laughs> <He's> here. <laughs> Show yourself, Richard. Richard, where are you? You're being a real coward. I need that picture, please. You know, there's a lot of people who ship Jill and Chris. Sure, yeah. I ship Jill and Richard. Yeah, Actually, yeah. I ship me and Richard. That's, well, that's beside yeah. the point. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Who do you trust more, Richard or your own mother? Richard. Every time. And where's Richard? Do you do you have any idea where Richard is? Creating some space. Yeah. All right. I'm really stressed out. It doesn't look like the work of those rotting freaks. Now, hey, let's, let's not be so judgmental. You're being a little racist. If I don't need anything in my sensitivity training, it's that not all zombies. Wear capes. No, 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 no. Right. just not all zombies. Oh, like, okay. People like zombies, are pieces of garbage, they're rotting freaks, and they kill people. I say- Rotting freaks! I say not all zombies. Come on now. Joe. Take it easy. First aid box, oh. Ignorance rears its ugly head yet again. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> we were so close, that makes it more frustrating. Wait. No, cause- Richard! That is Richard. Is he dead? You dead boy Richard, no. Richard. No. No. Not Rich. Richard, please. Not now we have to kill you. Richard is already dead. What a tragic fate for such a close friend. Don't <laughs> Jill talks? <laughs> what a tragic fate for such a close friend. Oh, dude. So wait, we we walked by this guy before and I shot at him, I think. Yeah, I think you did. I think he made, tried to make sure he was dead. You were afraid. <laughs> You're like, oh, I hope this guy doesn't kill us later. Yeah, that was him. So, ooh. In my defense, I didn't know that was Richard. No, there's no defense, dude. You should, you disrespected <coughs> Richard, and now we have a problem. He's dead. Good. All right. Outrageous. Sorry, I was really- It's unfair. So, I hate sand. <laughs> it's coarse and rough and irritating, and it's everywhere. It's in my vat right now. <laughs> it's in my vat. <laughs> I don't like that. It doesn't feel good. Okay. Yeah, well, every, every time you- <laughs> Okay, just full transparency. If you look this up and like, oh, where, where's guns and, or bullets or whatever, people just like 
whine about how you're bad. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, look, dude, I know I'm bad. It's obvious. I'm terrible. Okay, like, so... Tiger? Oh, in here. We're not solving anything by telling me I'm bad. No, no. Did you know that Tobey Maguire voices his Spider-Man in the Sam Raimi Spider-Man games? I did know that, actually. I remember yeah. playing it when I was on, a. Uh... The, the, <laughs> cool, but you just fucking decided you wanted to talk over me and tell me, oh, I already knew that, oh, I already knew that, oh, you know, this is why you don't have any friends, baby. You know, that's the thing. Maybe this every, dark. every Monday through Friday when you go to work, maybe this is why your wife needs some company from other Wait people. a second, wait, hey, wait. <laughs> Do you ever have an experience like that when you were a kid? Maybe, you, you know, you had like a friend with a hotter older sister, she walks through the room after taking a shower, you, you bone her brains out. Sure, sure. Yeah, no, every other Thursday was pretty much that. I penciled in my calendar, and no, I never had an experience like that. It oh. never happened. Oh. I know. It was a lonely, boring childhood. Can you imagine? Did you have such an experience? Wait a minute. No. Wait. What? Never. What? No, I didn't. But I did used to have a huge crush on my friend's sister. Oh, yeah. who's that friend? We should tell them. No, we shouldn't. Right now, who is it? No, it's not really anyone I talk to anymore. Uh oh. How do I get out of here? Let's go. This way, maybe? Oh, no. He's alive, alive. All right, well, we could leave. <sighs> Love it. Love that for us. No, yeah, I had a huge crush on my friend's sister. Okay. Very hot. Oh. Uh, turned out to be go insane. On. Didn't miss out at all. Wow. Wow. Yep. Oh my gosh. Yep. Uh, moral of the story? Don't like your friend's sisters. No, always go for it while you have the chance. Oh, I see. Because if they turn out to be nuts later, you can always jump ship and run. You can always bounce. But you can never, you can never re-seize the day. You know, they say uh, carpe diem. Wow. They mean seize the day. You can yeah, never, yeah. once the day is gone, you can never seize again. Sure, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And the root word of seize is in the word seizure. Did you know that? Oh, it means to good. seize up, like, oh no. Oh, you know, like gosh. that. Yeah. That's what that means. Wow. And so the moral of the story is bone your friend's sister. Wow, dude. <laughs> Every time. Every time you can. Everyone should do write it. that down. Yeah. Uh, well, they already did. You're the only one not writing down my excellent Shoot. advice. This whole thing has been a cover up for me to be a mental health care worker and give great advice to our audience. Wow. So there's going to be a lot of great youth running around in the future. <laughs> because of you? Because of it me. Seems like you're taking a lot of credit because Doing of Doing each other's sisters. Wait you know, a having, second. Uh, how do I go? Oh, there we go. You know, just having a good time. And you, meanwhile, are just sitting here in a Chili's shirt <laughs> no, looking it, like a tool. There, there are Chili's on the shirt, but it's not Chili's branded. Well, now, wait a minute. Let's not be there too hesitant. That's what we want. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes! Well, is it ego if you can back it up? Wait, <laughs> wait a second. No, wait. that's wrong. How can you back it up? What do you mean? Well, like, if, where's the I bet if we did labor? a poll, well, between my legs, but if we did a poll <laughs> on there's the ego again. all it's children, ridiculous. all children in the world, all of them, not even just America, all of them. Okay. I saw a comment, by the way, someone said, I really feel bad for T. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Your sympathy means everything to me, it really does. Okay, it's back to the basement. Condition. Shoot! No, shoot, no, shoot! <laughs> no, I needed that. So if you insert those chemicals. Oh, oh yeah, that's gruesome. And then we put turn it on red. Give them the red. Give them the red hot business. Yeah. Yes. Red. Yeah. Die plant. Die. Ooh, that's gross. Ooh, no. Ooh, that's tough to watch. You're torturing the plant. Yeah, well, it kind of had it coming. It did. You scared us. I didn't like being Sorry, scared. Sorry, I was kind of victim blaming on my part. You're a monster. I think we have to turn that off once the plant dies or it'll kill me. Maybe. Probably worth a shot. Yes. You can always turn it back on. Here. Right there. Number three. We only need one more. Yes, take it. What about my family? Jill's wow. here. I can't talk. I want to know who's here. Jill. Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You all right? What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm all right. 
You know, I think Barry McCockner is hiding something from us. Yeah, Barry McCockner is just uh, not being really trustworthy right now. And I almost think you have to come from behind there. What was that? There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. Why wouldn't you leave that on the front if you wanted Linda to see it? Yeah, that's just Linda not courteous. No, that's just not cool, dude. Don't. Toilet paper, they're very discolored. Hey, I could have so, used this like a couple months ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jill's just like, hey, I know we might be in quarantine, but I'm just going to have a seat here. It's a little discolored, but so, I think it'll work fine. You want me to pull it? I heard something moving, so I will do that. Pull it, pull it. If something happens, oh, it's on I'm you. I'm scared, dude. Watch out for that guy on the ground. He definitely looks alive. Oh, yeah, 100%. There's, There's something inside the bathtub. This is good. This is good. Is that handgun bolt? What? I can't carry any more items. Oh, no, dude. Um... Oh, no. You could use your health. You're a caution. That's a real bummer. But I think it's the right move. Well, that's true, yeah. Well, I take the control room key, yes. There he is. I knew it. Job well done. You get close. Make sure I don't want to get close. Oh, it's oh, oh, shooting no. spum at you, dude. Owie. Oh, no. That's poisoned. I'm glad you brought the blue one, dude. Yep, yep. Well, we'll use it in a minute. What are you, you're, you're in bad shape. Got it. One. Oh, you killed it. Give me a second. You killed it. Is it dead? You wasted a shotgun shell. I don't care. The thing's dead. I don't know what the crank is for. Oh, no, we already, we already used, used it. it. Yeah. It's Christmas with the crank. If, the we, if it was crank, if, wait, if it was Christmas, <laughs> if it was crankmas, we could spend crankmas with the Chris. Tim Allen is truly a god among men. That's Never what that movie was, right? A Tim Allen movie? Christmas with the crank? Christmas with the crank, dude. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, what's your favorite Tim Allen movie? Home Improvement, the show. That's not a movie. The Santa idiot. Claus One. That's a good movie. I actually liked three. People didn't like three. I, I like really three liked too. It. You did with Jack uh, Jack Frost. Yeah, I also very much. I really liked it. I guess people hated it. I had a great time with it. I very much enjoyed it. Why are we going in here again? Oh yeah, because we had a full inventory. We don't though. There's one on the spot. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> to light the red book. But apparently, no, you wouldn't. Oh, so you're one of those guys who likes to start books on fire. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm the fire chief from Fahrenheit 451. <laughs> That's a, welcome back to 2020. Yeah, what's up? That's very cool. Are we in a biker bar? Where are we? I don't know, I'll take a screenshot. Did you screenshot? <laughs> uh, no, did you <laughs> screenshot that? I didn't. I have Tourette's and you made fun of me touching the button on accident, it's really funny. Yeah, you think my disability is your joke? So disrespectful. Interesting. Ridiculous. Could it have some kind of meaning? What kind Whoa, of meaning? Uh, you can't use the thing. The thing. The thing. The, the, the thing. Uh, some billiard balls. There's more than two, three. There doesn't seem to be anything special about the order, but. What do you mean, but? But what? what? do you mean, but? Can we play pool? But. Ooh, look at that but. That's a Wait, butt. what's over there? That was the front. Wait, is that, that a thing? A look at that. What is, is that? Spider? What is that? Yeah, it's like, just let us play the game. Why do we have to think so deeply about everything? We're, we're trying to read a book. It's yeah. like, oh, well, you got to do this, and then you got to do that. But actually, the book doesn't have words in it. Did you ever think about that? Did you ever think about a book that didn't have words in it? Is it even a book? It's just unprinted. <laughs> it's a philosophical question. <laughs> what are you talking about? I just want to play a video game. No, think about this book. We didn't write words in it. What do you think about that? Would you put words in it? Does that make you a hypocrite? <laughs> Why don't you like the book without words? What is it about you that's been socially conditioned to want books to have words in them? It seems like you've changed and we are changing in a better way. Well, you know, sometimes I think about society when I think about this question and I wonder, a book that has words is a book, but a book with no <laughs> words, is it truly a book or is it perhaps a nook. Next time on Resident Evil. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That is a shiny, shiny magnum. Thank you. We need that. Yep, a gun has been placed neatly inside. Oh, <laughs> jeez, that's huge. That thing is a monster. Silver serpent. That's what they called me in high school. I don't believe that. For I unrelated reasons to anything sexual. Be Quit being weird about it. It was dude. because you collected serpents. That's, in that's indeed. And I loved, I invested a lot in silver, not gold. It wasn't smart, but I did it. Well, we'll figure it out together. It'll be poetic. Oh, that's great. We'll look. I'm really happy about <laughs> yeah, that. It's a good thing you uh, brought. When I woke up today, I was like, I want to have a PBS Kids moment <laughs> with somebody today. And I'm glad we're here today, yeah, right what now. What can I say? Having that on Sesame Street. I provide them. 
I am here to provide PBS kid moments. I'm a Darwinist. I believe that if you can't survive on your own, you deserve to die. That's really cool. Yeah. I never thought of it that way. Yeah. So what does that mean for me? Wait a second. Do you know where you're going right now? Hold on, dude. Jill, you're alive. I was worried because I thought you were... Start talking. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. That gun is bigger than her. Lisa! Oh, no. Dude, what is going on? Oh, that's... She's wearing her mother's face. Did you not put the thing? Oh, my gosh! No time to talk. Jill, hand me my gun! No way, dude. I can't do that. Jill! Barry! <laughs> he just got yeeted! <laughs> Barry just got yeeted on the side! You big dumb idiot! Barry's photograph. This is the photograph that fell out of Barry's shirt just before he fell from the bed. What's right the There's back? something right now in the back. We love you, Daddy. Oh, um, and now they make us feel bad. Moira and Polly. <laughs> <laughs> they, they just give laid us, on thick. They give us like his family's photo. <laughs> this traitor that killed Enrico and almost tried to kill us. And it's like, but what about his daughters? And then, <laughs> come on, man. You can't lay that on us after we killed them. Did you have fun? Did you enjoy it? Did you have a laugh? Well, there's more where that came from with an entire Let's Play of the Resident Evil remake over on our Let's Play channel, Degenerate Plays, where my friends and I hang out and have a fun time with you. So be sure to smash that subscribe button for this channel and check out our secondary channel, Degenerate Plays, in the description down below. Hope you had a great one, and as always, stay shway.